Egyptian Civilization Old Kingdom The period known as the Old Kingdom began with Dynasty 3. The most magnificent contribution of this period are the royal stone tombs which are known to us as pyramids. The ancient Egyptians believed that when they died, they journeyed to the world of the dead and enjoyed an afterlife. That is, the spirit of the person lived on even after death, if the dead body was prevented from decay. Hence, they developed ways to artificially preserve or embalm the dead body. During embalming, the internal organs like the stomach, liver, lungs, intestines were removed while the heart was left in its place. The other body parts were stored in special urns called canopic jars. The body was then treated with preservatives, padded with cloth, then oiled and wrapped in strips of linen before being placed in its coffin. This process took around 70 days. Protective charms or amulets like the Eye of Horus were also placed with the body. The bandaged body, called a mummy, was then fitted with a face mask and placed inside a mummy case, painted with religious images and text from the Book of the Dead. According to one of the illustrations from the Book of the Dead, in the afterlife, every mortal had to face judgment. The jackal-headed god weighs the heart of a scribe against the feather of truth. If the sins weigh down the scales, the scribe will be eaten up by the waiting monster. Because of the Egyptian beliefs, when their rulers were buried, all the things that they might need in their afterlife were buried along with them. These included food, furniture, ornaments, and even statues of animals. Hence, huge pyramids had to be built in order to make a place for all the things they wanted to take to the next life. At the end of Dynasty 5, magical texts were inscribed on the walls of the burial chamber to ensure the safe passage of the ruler spirit to the afterworld. The walls of the tomb were covered with picture writing glorifying the king. Tomb pictures also showed harvest, hunting and feast scenes, all reminders of happy times. Papyrus scrolls containing prayers for the spirit of the dead person were also placed in the tomb. The most prominent ruler of Dynasty 3 was King Zosa. The first known Egyptian pyramid, called the Step Pyramid, was built for him at Saqqara. Under Snofu, the founder of Dynasty 5, the first true pyramid named the Red Pyramid was constructed. It had the burial chamber in the heart of the pyramid instead of underground. The techniques of building pyramids were perfected under his successors, Khufu, Khefren and Menkore. The largest pyramid ever built is the Great Pyramid of Giza, which was built by King Khufu. The Great Pyramid covers more than 13 acres and contains nearly 600 million tons of stone. It is 160 meter high and its entrance rises 18 meters above the ground. The Great Pyramid of Giza is known for its amazing architecture that consists of an underground chamber, a grand gallery, a queen's chamber as well as a king's chamber. 
the Great Pyramid of Giza stands beside two other pyramids known as the Pyramid of Khafra and the Pyramid of Menkore. The pyramid builders did not have any machines like pulleys and cranes. Their only resources were ropes of twisted papyrus and levers, plenty of stone and mud, and unlimited labor. Although the Egyptians did not have much equipment, their ingenuity and persistence were extraordinary. The large amount of wealth and labor spent on building and furnishing the pyramids weakened the national economy. Foreign trade declined and so did the power of the king. High priests and government officials fought for power and the country was plunged in civil war. The old kingdom lasted till the end of dynasty 6. The rulers of the next five dynasties were weak and the capital was finally shifted to Thebes. The rulers of dynasty 12 reunited Egypt by conquest and helped restore its wealth and power. Quarries were reopened, temples and palaces were built, art, architecture and literature flourished, seaborne trade restarted and pyramids were built of mud bricks instead of stone.